BFIT Nation, welcome back to another Motivational Monday, another BFIT Live. This is a perfect opportunity, a perfect chance to set aside a little bit of time for yourself to focus on your health, your wellness, to strengthen yourself week by week as we keep going throughout this year. So welcome BFIT Nation. We have a great resistance-based workout for you today. Before we get started, have you, we'll have you settle in. We'll have you um, kind of open up your workout space, your workout area. I will let you know what type of equipment you may need, although it is not necessary to complete any of the movements that we are accomplishing for today. But if you have any dumbbells, go ahead and feel free and grab those as well. If you have anything with a handle, that would work out just as well. Also, but welcome back to another Motivational Monday, another BFIT Live. I'm joined by my co-host, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hi, good morning, Roy. Good morning, BFIT Nation. I'm doing well. Happy Monday. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Happy Monday. Once again, once again, here's a great time and a great way to start the week off nice and strong, okay? So if you're new, welcome. We go through a programmed workout today is a resistance-based workout. Um, our timing for today is 40 seconds on, which is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We will have four exercises that we will go through and we will accomplish uh, each of these workouts, uh, each of these four workouts for four rounds. So 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds and one minute rest in between each round, okay? That one minute rest gives you time to replenish any fluids that you may have lost, kind of uh, restructure and reset that mind to get you ready for the next round, okay? Once again, this is a resistance-based workout, so I want you to kind of think about the, mu the muscles that we are working for today, those muscle groups, okay? If we are working that lower body uh, movements, Think about those quads or those hamstrings, and I'll point those out as well as we go, those glutes, okay? Think about those muscle groups that we are working through each movement, each of the four movements. Um, yes, but most of all, have fun. Uh, enjoy the workouts, okay? It's all about challenging yourself, but also challenging yourself to the best of your ability and to your fitness level as well. We'll, uh, you know, call out some modifications that we can take care of uh, if the uh, movement is too advanced, we'll scale back a little bit. And, um, you know, hopefully that will help do the trick for you. But uh, join us. Welcome once again, Be Fit Live. Um, let's see here. Sergeant Barry, I'm thinking of any extra notes here. We will go through um, some dynamic stretching before we get started. And then we will jump into the workout. Once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off four rounds, one minute rest in between each round. Drop us a comment. Let us know where you're joining us from, okay? Whether you're at home, whether you're indoors or outdoors, okay? Um, let us know what part of the world you are joining us from. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you all. All right, again. Um, so I'll go through some demos. I'll demo each exercise so that way there are no surprises. Look out for any coaching cues that you may be able to take away, any technique, techniques, any form, a correction. Okay. Let's take away some of those key notes here um, again and leave us a note in the comments below. I have us on the screen right here. So uh, if you have any questions during today's workouts, I'm going to look into diving into that as well. If you have any questions, but exercise number one, let's jump into it. Exercise number one, we have, if we have any dumbbell, let's go ahead and grab that. If not, I want you to make some nice, strong fists. Okay. Make nice, strong fists. And we're going to really accentuate um, the top portion of the movement, whichever uh, we are adding resistance in. So our first movement is going to be an alternating reverse lunge with a lateral raise. Okay. So what is that? That's going to be our reverse lunge. So we're going to take that nice strong sense at the top of our workout space. We're going to take that right or left leg, extend it back into that reverse lunge, dropping that knee down nice and controlled, keeping that front knee over that toe, right? Chest is up, head is looking straight ahead. You have your palms facing you keeping those shoulders back, chest is up, reverse lunge. Once you get out of that reverse lunge, stand up nice and tall. And at that starting position, you're going to laterally raise those arms out until uh, you make that nice T with your arms. That's going to activate and isolate that shoulder, right? That head of your shoulder, right? So also reverse lunge into that lateral raise, left leg back, keeping that chest up nice and 
proud and into that lateral raise. So two for one combo there. We are going to be working that lower body, and then we were going to we are going to be isolating those shoulders with that lateral raise. Okay, dumbbells or no dumbbells, but keep those fists nice and tight. You want those arms to be parallel to the floor here. Once you come out into that standing position. Exercise number two, we have a T push up. So we are going to be on the floor here. Let me just get back in my workout space. All right. Hands are going to be right under our shoulders for the most support. Okay. Hands underneath shoulders. Head is going to be in that neutral position, meaning you want that spinal alignment from your neck all the way down that spine, all the way back down to those heels. Right. So into that push up, dropping that chest down to the floor. Elbows are going to be tucked in, extending right back up. Make sure to give yourself, set yourself up here with your foot placement. The wider your foot placement is, the more stability you are going to have when you roll into that big T. All right, making T's today with both exercise number one and exercise number two. All right, so again, keeping that back flat in that push up, extending right back up, and then opening that chest up, keeping those hips square to the floor, right? Those toes are going to be on the floor. And your gaze is going to be at your fingertips, looking up at the ceiling there for those T push-ups. Exercise number three, we are back at standing position. We are going to take that sumo squat to a bicep curl. So two for one here. This time around, we are going to activate a little bit of that lower portion of your glute, your hamstrings and your quads with that sumo squat. So sumo meaning it's going to be wider than your shoulder width. Okay, so if your shoulders are here, I want your, your feet to be outside of that um, placement here. Your toes are gonna be tracking out a little bit outside here to your comfort here, dropping those hips down first, right? Into that sumo squat. Palms are gonna be facing out, all right? Palms facing out. Once you're down into that sumo squat, <clears throat> knees again, tracking over those toes. So you want those glutes back, chest is up, head is up into that sumo squat, extend up, drive up through those heels to a standing position. And then add in that bicep curl and then control that right back down to that sumo squat and then your bicep curl. So two for one combo here, sumo squat into that bicep curl. That's going to be exercise number three. Exercise number four, we, have, we are going to alternate between each round. We're going to have a core twist, which is on the floor here. You are extending or reclining back to a 45 degree angle. Your chest is up, your head is looking straight ahead, your, your heels are going to be on the floor here, right? Heels are on the floor. You're gonna alternate from left hip to right hip. Um, weight is optional. If you want to scale up, go ahead and add resistance while you twist, but making sure that your shoulders and your head are twisting as well from left hip to right hip as you move, right? We are working on those obliques and that core stability from that 45 degree uh, reclined position. So keeping that core nice and tight, for those 40 seconds of work. And then the next round, we are gonna jump into a plank hip twist, right? So not that I want you to um, drop those hips on a lot of movements here, but this movement I do, okay? So we're in that low plank, okay? That standard plank. That uh, back is flat, that head is gonna be neutral. We're going to slowly lower those hips from left to right. So a little hip dip here, forcing us to engage that, that core and work on stabilization, okay, of our obliques. We wanna keep that back flat. Again, that head is gonna be looking straight down, okay, keeping that core nice and tight. So we're gonna alternate from core twist to plank hip twists, one, uh, one round, two round, and then three round and four round. So that's gonna make up today's resistance space workout. How's that sound, team? I hope everything is good with everyone. Grab any resistance you may need or have around. Okay, we are going to do some dynamic stretching to get our minds and our bodies warmed up and ready to work. Aside from that, Sergeant Barry, you're looking like we are ready to work. <laughs> I'm ready, Ryan. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's do that. All right. Let's dive in here to some dynamic stretches. Okay. Again, we want to always warm our bodies up before we get into our working stance and our working structure. So dynamic quad stretch up first. We're gonna take that right leg. We're gonna extend it back behind our glutes here. We're gonna take that left hand and reach it all the way up here, okay? Pushing those hips forward. 
All right, keeping that chest up, that head up, and that arm is extending overhead. Each of these movements we will do for about 30 seconds here. So take your time or go through as quickly as you need, okay? This is a great time to scan your body to see where you may be tight, to see if you've been sitting for a long period of time. This is a great opportunity, again, to feel out your body and see if you need any additional stretching, okay? So dynamic quad stretch here. Let's do about two more reps here. One for me. One more for me, pushing those hips forward, arms extending nice and tall. Okay, reverse lunge into a reach. Okay, we're gonna come up to the front of our workout space, taking that reverse lunge, just like our exercise number one. Okay, hands are coming together and reaching over to the left. If your right leg went back, you're leaning to your left here. Feel that stretch in your lats here. You can feel your shoulders getting some blood flow here your lower body, your glutes, your quads, hamstrings, into that reverse lunge, nice and controlled. Again, a lot of the movements here for today, nice controlled movements into the best of your ability to your comfort level, okay? If it's not as deep of a lunge or reverse lunge, that's okay to your comfort level. All right, lateral lunges here, fixed feet. We're gonna take a nice wide stance and we are gonna shift our weight over to our right, and over to our left, feeling that inner thigh stretch, trying to keep that chest up. Good, again, feeling that blood flow working into our lower extremities here. Nice controlled tempo. If you need to sit in it a little bit longer, by all means. Now's a great time to do that. <clears throat> All right, two, one. Okay, team, feet are gonna be shoulder width apart here. We're just gonna go into some body weight squats, okay? Getting those hips nice and loose, those quads nice and loose, <laughs> nice and loose. Nice and functioning here. <laughs> Pushing those hips back, those glutes are back. That chest is up, right? Nice and controlled, no rush here. Just getting some blood flow again into that lower body. All right, getting them nice and primed, getting your body nice and primed. All right, team. <clears throat> Let's go into uh, hip circles here. Almost finished with this dynamic stretch. Right leg back, right leg forward. I know we've been sitting for a lot, long period of time here. So these are great dynamic stretches that you can do on a daily basis to keep your body nice and mobile, okay? To give yourself um, full range of motion here. Again, we're working on some full range of motion. Good. Here you go. Last three, two, last one for me. All right, team YTWs, and that's going to round out our dynamic stretching here. All right. Nice, strong stance here. We're going to come to our center. We're going to make a big Y with our hands. Okay. Feel that stretch in your the back of your shoulders, right? Come back to center, make that T, stretch out left and right. Nice and strong here. Really accentuate that outside stretch and then into that W, good. Just feel the shoulder blades coming together. Nice proud stance. Showing off those biceps, back into that Y. Stretch out a little taller, good. Back to that T, good. Back into that W, nice strong W. One more time here. Back into that Y, again, back into that T, a nice strong stance, and back into that W for that last time, bringing those shoulder blades back and together, and good. All right, team, towel off, hydrate, grab that water that you may or may not need, but grab that water and let's go in. As I set my clock here, as I set my timer, let's go ahead and get ready to work here. Again, we have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds and one minute rest in between each round. All right, again, alternating reverse lunge to lateral raise for set number one. All right, uh, T push up for that second exercise, sumo squat to bicep curl for that third, and fourth is gonna be that core twist. All right, team 40, 20, we're looking good here. All right. Here we go, team. Starting timer. We are up in 10 seconds. 
All right, reverse lunge to lateral raise coming up in five, three, top of the space here. One, giving yourself room to lunge back. And here we go, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Reverse lunge, standing tall into that lateral raise, okay? Back into that reverse lunge, keeping that chest up nice and proud as you extend back to your comfort level. That rear knee is hovering over the floor. That front knee is tracking over that toe. Nice and tall, standing position. Last 15 seconds. Palms are facing you. As you reverse lunge out in 10, driving up through the front heel, out in five, three, two, one. Last rep, team. And time, 20 seconds of rest here. And we are on the floor for those T push ups. Those T push ups, team, coming up in 10. 20 seconds flies by for that rest period. Let's get ready in five. In that high plank position, two, one. Set yourself up and here we go, team. T push up, really extending that arm nice and high. Your gaze should be tracking at your fingertips. That arm as it raises up, shouldn't pass your center line here. So try not to hyper extend if you will. Just nice and tall. 15 seconds left. We are almost there. Take our time with these movements. If we need to scale down off of our knees, let's go ahead and do that team into that push up. Last three seconds, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, and we are into our sumo squat with a bicep curl. Good work, team. Keep it up. Grabbing my weight here for that bicep curl. Again, nice wide stance for that sumo squat. First round, we learn it. Second round, we own it. We're up to one. Here we go, team. 40 seconds of work starting now. Sumo squat, keeping those elbows tucked in here, keeping that chest up nice and proud. Good. Try to wait, make this one fluid motion, one fluid movement. Dropping those hips back, nice and comfortable. Out in 13. It's okay if you're not as going as deep as myself or Sergeant Barry, it's all right. Out in 15. Last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here and we are on the floor for those core twists. <clears throat> How are we doing team? How are we doing? 10 seconds here. All right, team, up in three. We are on the floor for those core twists. Two, one, reclining back into that 45 degree angle here. Heels are on the floor for this round. And we are just tapping right by our hips here to the left and to the right, making sure that our torso is rotating as we move from left to right here at your own pace. Find a tempo that works for you here. 20 seconds and out. Keep that core tight. Head is looking straight ahead. Out in 10. Six, five, team. Almost there. Last three, two, one. And there we are. Round number one is in the books. Good work, good work. How are we doing? Did you stick with us? I know team, first round we learn it, second round we own it. As I grab some water here. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing, ma'am? Good, Roy. Good work, good work. All right, team. Yes, ma'am. All right, so let, let us know. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know which exercises do you like the most? Which ones do you find the most challenging? Is it the push-up, the T push-up? Is it the sumo squat with the bicep curl or the core twist? Let us know in the comments here. All right, 12 seconds left. So we're gonna go into that reverse lunge to lateral raise, all right? Picking your weight of choice. If not, make that nice strong fist here. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go team, 40 seconds on the clock. Reverse lunge. Staying nice and tall, activating and isolating those shoulders with that lateral raise. 
Think about driving up through that front heel, right? To your standing position, bam. Nice controlled movements here with any resistance movements that we accomplish here on BFIT Live. Take your time, no rush here. Again, we're working on isolating and activating specific muscle groups. So think about that lower body work. Out in five, last three, two, one, and time. Got that last one in just in time. 15 seconds of rest here. We are on deck here for that push up, that T push up, not for timeout. <laughs> All right, team, here we go. In three, two, one, let's work. Down into that push up. Control your movement here. Nice and controlled movements. Really forces you to stabilize when that hand comes up, making that nice strong T. Good, gazing at those fingertips as it raises towards the ceiling. Hips are square, back is flat. Let's drop to our knees as well. If we need to regress into those push-ups. Out in 10, keeping that back flat. Out in five, last three, two, one, and time. Good work, BFIT Nation. 20 seconds of rest here, a little less than that. We are in our sumo squat to bicep curl. All right. I know minimal rest time here. That's the advantage here. Keeping that heart rate elevated, burning those additional calories here. 40 seconds on the clock, team. Let's grab that weight. Assume our sumo squat position. We are down and we are up with that bicep curl. Control this movement here. With that sumo squat, you should feel more activation in that lower part of your glute, your hamstring. Good. Keeping that back nice and flat, nice and long here. Out in 12 seconds, chest is up, head is up. Keeping those shoulders back as well. Keeping those elbows tucked in for that bicep curl, out in five. Last three team, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, team, second round here. So we're gonna go into those plank hip twists. All right, in that low plank position, we are up in eight. Elbows right underneath our shoulders here. Up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Feet are shoulder width apart here. We are dropping those hips to our right. A few inches here and back to our left. Just rotating those hips, dipping those hips, keeping that back flat. That head is looking right at our fingertips or at our fists, whichever we are creating with our hands. 17 seconds here. Nice controlled movement. Should feel that activation in your obliques, the side of your stomach here. Out in three, two, one. One for good measure and time. Good work team, 60 seconds of And then we are back to work. There we are. All right, I'm back here. I'm back grabbing that water, staying hydrated. It is getting warm over here. Mm. All right, 30 seconds of rest here. Catch that breath, catch that breath. We have a reverse lunge with that lateral raise coming up in 25 seconds, team. <clears throat> I'm sticking with my weight of choice here. Scale up if needed or scale back as needed. A lot of these movements kind of gauge where we are between that first set, second set. Starting our third set, if we can scale up, let's do it. If not, that's perfectly fine. Let's work on that form, dialing in that form. Out up in five, team up in five. Here we go, three, two, one. Top of my space here, lunging back, keeping that chest up, that head is looking straight ahead. Standing nice and tall, going into that lateral raise. All right. Good, good job team. Good job, Sergeant Barry, good job. Keeping it up. There we are. Good, control yourself with this one. Out in 10, 
That's at least three more reps. Come on, team. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. Good job. There we are. Down into that T push up in 10 seconds. Let's get ready. Again, quick 20 second rest here, allowing us to grab a quick breath. And then we're back to work in three, two, high plank position here, dropping down in that push up. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Here we are. Nice controlled movements once again. Let's regress, scale back to our knees if we need to. If we need to eliminate that rotation, let's eliminate that rotation as well. Think about your breathing as well. Deep breath in on the way out, or on the way down actually, and deep breath out on the way up. Keeping that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. That navel's bringing back to your spine. Out in seven. Last four, three, two, one. Last rep team and time. Good job. <sighs> There we are. Good job, team. Good job. Eight seconds here. Sumo squat the bicep curl. Dialing in that weight here. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Sumo squat. Grabbing that resistance. We don't have resistance. Make that strong fist here. Leading with those hips back and down. Back is flat. Head is looking straight ahead. One of my favorite movements here, able to activate that lower body. And as a bonus, work on those biceps. Who's with me team, out in 10. Last three, two, one, finish up that rep and time. Good job team, good job. We are back to those core twists coming up in 15. Grab that water, grab that towel. We are up in 10. Mm -hmm. Last three team, last three, two, one, 40 seconds on the clock, reclining back, 45 degree angle here. Let's work. Good. If we can add resistance here. This is where you would do it. Do you have a dumbbell that you were using? Let's go ahead and grab that dumbbell. Two hands here, rotating from the left to the right. Left hip, right hip. Torso is rotating with as well. Think about engaging that core. Think about that breathing as well. Last five seconds here. Three, two, one, and time. Good work, team. Good work. How are we doing? How are we feeling? One minute rest here. I know, I know. Good work. Good job, team. Good job. Again, these are great functional movements that we can accomplish here in a controlled environment. And not only that, but these movements can be applied to outside of these workouts again. So, you know, a lot of these movements are very functionable. Okay. We do them and we may not even be realizing, uh, we may not realize that we are doing them outside of a gym or a workout setting, but this is where we get to strengthen and dial in those specific muscle groups to prevent injury. Okay. Prevent injury, keep nice and strong, keep healthy, keep safe. All tight and reverse lunge is coming up in five seconds, team. Grab that weight in three, two, one, here we go team, top of the space, lunging back. Last round team, last round. Deep breath in, good. Chest is up, nice and proud. Keeping those shoulders back, try not to bring them forward. Keep them back, rotate them back. 13 seconds here, out in 10. Good team, last five seconds. Driving up through that heel. Three, two, one, and time. Bonus rep if you finish that out.
Good job, team. Good job. We are on deck here for those T push ups. Last round, team. Come on. Last round, best round. In that right, Sergeant Barry. That's right. Best round. Let's do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Let's do what we can, team. Do what we can. Keep pushing. Challenging yourself. If we are on our knees, perfectly fine. If we have eliminated that rotation, that is fine. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. If we're moving in place, that is a win for today. 15 seconds on the clock here. Out in 10, push through, challenge yourself. No challenge, no change. Last five seconds. Up in three. There we go. And time, good job. There we go, way to bounce up. Way to bounce up. You're... Yes, ma'am, we are ready for more. Sumo squat with that bicep curl. I know we might have to extend these rounds. We have so much energy. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Sumo squat to that bicep curl. Controlled movements here. Have fun with them. I know it's all about pushing ourselves, challenging ourselves. Dialing in our perfect form here, our great form, keeping that chest up, that back is flat. Those hips are leading down and back. Those knees are checking over our toes. Nice wide stance here. Our toes are angled out just a little bit to our comfort level. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Finish out that last rep and time. All right, team, good work. Coming up on our last and final Movement here, those plank twists in 10 seconds. Woo. I know team, I know. Last round, best round, last set, best set. Let's keep it, keep it going, keep it finished. High plank, sorry, low plank. On those elbows, back is flat. Hip dips here, hip dips. Dipping from the right and to the left. Control that movement here. Hips are dipping back is flat. Last 20 seconds. If we are in that low plank, hold that plank. I want you to hold that plank for the last 15 seconds. Good. Last 10. Eight. Out in six, team. Five. Keep it going. Last three, two, one, and time. <laughs> Good work, team. Good work, BFit Nation. How are we feeling? How are we doing? Uh huh. All right, all right. As we collect ourselves, grab that breath. All right. Now's a great time to stretch out if you need it. Keep that body cooling it down here. Arm circles, hip circles. All right, I know we've worked a lot of upper body here, a little bit of a 50-50 ratio here, a lot of upper body, a lot of lower body, bringing that heart rate back down, bringing that breath back down and under control. Good job, good job today, team. Good work, way to push through, way to challenge yourself on these BFIT lives. That's why we bring them to you, to create that community here. We are all here, one team, one fight with our exchange BFIT program here. Sergeant Barry, how are we doing today, ma'am? How are we doing? Hi, good, I'm doing good. Uh, I think one of my favorite things about working out with you, Roy, is you keep me accountable, like constant reminders, flatten your back, mm -hmm. um, but it's good. It's now when I'm working out on my own, I can still hear you in my head, flatten your back. And I watch my form a lot more, so it's awesome. <laughs> that is that's so wonderful to hear and i i truly hope that these little coaching cues stay with you uh, outside of our live workout program so and, and that's what it's about and i even tell myself you know i, I speak to myself internally especially uh, well through any movement but especially through resistance movements because they are so um so meticulous on that form right you want to dial in that form for correction before you scale up and wait you want to make sure that you are not uh, hurting or, or, or kind of moving awkwardly 
before you challenge yourself a little bit more and a little bit more, but those little bits of tips and little tidbits and form corrections, that's what it's all about. And that's how we continue to get stronger week by week and prevent injury while we were at it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for sharing that. So with that, BFIT Nation, I hope you all have had a great start to your Monday here. I know myself, Roy, and Senior Master Sergeant Barry, I know we've enjoyed our workouts with you as well, and we will continue to share our workouts and push through along with you. So we are here for you and with you every step of the way and every rep of the way. So um, on behalf of myself and Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Barry, thank you so much, ma'am, for keep uh, pushing through and continuing to progress and build. I know I've seen a lot of progress between us both. So that's what it's about, building that community and building that progress. So again, we will progress through this week and we will see you again next Monday for our BeFit Live Motivation Mondays. Have a great day, guys. Great week. And uh, stay safe, stay ready, stay resilient, and let's stay fit, guys. Signing off. <laughs>